All right, 22 past 7. Imagine a disease that causes the, ba the body to attack itself. It is called pemphigus, and it's a skin disorder that many of us have never heard of. But it is a real affliction that's increasingly striking Americans. Now, joining us in studio today, Dr. Animesh Sinha, one of the nation's top doctors and researchers of the disease, professor and chair at the Department of Dermatology University at Buffalo. Also, Rebecca Oling who suffers from it and you guys can both of course shed some light on it so let's start with you Dr. Sinha so this is an autoimmune disease correct and what does that mean? Well uh, pemphigus and pemphigoid are diseases of the skin that fall in the broad category of autoimmune blistering disorders and uh, they are representative of two kind of forms of this uh, disease the pemphigus group and the pemphigoid group now uh, autoimmunity can affect any organ in, this, in the body, including mm -hmm. the skin. And collectively, these diseases affect uh, up to uh, a fifth of Americans. And, really? and so they're um, uh, uh, the third leading, second or third leading cause of morbidity and uh, mortality, morbidity and mortality in, in, in the country, right after cardiovascular disease and right in line with cancer. And the skin being the biggest organ on our bodies, um, also, of course, our first defense, I think, in a lot of ways, too. Now, I did a little bit of reading up, so I'm going to ask you to correct me on any sure. of this from pronunciation right sure. on. Sure. But my understanding is that it's actually the skin cells actually start to separate um, because of the connective glue, so to speak, the, it, it disappears. Do we know anything about why this happens? Sure. Uh, well, these uh, diseases, all autoimmune diseases, are classified as complex diseases. And what that means is that they're multifactorial in etiology or cause. And that means that there's a confluence of genetic factors and environmental factors that work together and conspire to uh, cause uh, uh, a disruption in the immune system and, um, and, and, and cause the body's immune system to attack our own tissues. Now, we don't know what most of these genetic factors are, environmental factors, but we're, over the years, making a lot of progress on this, and some of the genetic factors are being found out um, in labs like myself and many others around the world. Now, we're seeing, we just had some pictures up on the screen. Uh, perhaps we have some more, but uh, Rebecca, tell me a little bit about your experience with pemphigus. So when I was 35, I um, was uh, uh, in between having children, and I started getting sores in my mouth. and. I figured in, your mouth. in my mouth, and I thought, well, maybe it's oral hygiene. Maybe you know, I'll go to my dentist. I went to my dentist. My dentist sent me to uh, my primary care physician. They thought maybe you know, herpes simplex, because everybody has that. Sure. Wasn't that? Um, and I went from doctor to doctor to doctor. It took over a year to get diagnosed. Over six doctors, um, and my skin was just falling apart in my mouth. And uh, inside, this was all within your this mouth. This was all. So the I'm lucky. Membranes. I'm lucky that way. It's all yeah. inside my mouth, mm -hmm. so it's a slightly less chance of infection and mortality. Well, and I was going to say, too, because you mentioned the mortality, doctor, and that has to do with not so much the, the condition itself, but infected uh, sores. Isn't that right? Is that what That's causes? right. Uh, you know, because there's a breach of uh, the skin integrity, and the skin is an important function in barrier and, and uh, to infection and outside uh, agents, that uh, infection was the leading cause of disease. Now, the mortality for some of these diseases was up to 75, 85 percent before we had the widespread use of uh, steroids. Uh, now it's still unacceptably high, about 10 to 15 percent. Wow. And, and Rebecca, how painful is this for you? Oh, it's terribly painful. A pinprick size lesion is just overwhelmingly painful. Wow. Um, you know, smiling, yawning, sneezing, you know, oh, just, you know, reading to your like kids, singing, right? all of those things oh, are extremely horrible. painful. And things you want to do every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one of the most important things I think about the path of an autoimmune disease is that most of these diseases are stress related. So one of the most important things that somebody can do if they have an autoimmune disease is to try to stay positive, find ways to reduce stress, um, which I know is difficult in modern life. Um, Especially once something like and, that, the onset. And right? have a good sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Now, um, why, is, why is this a growing disease in our country? Why is this happening more and more? Well, um, there's some evidence uh, recently that uh, these diseases, especially the, the bullous pemphigoid subset of these diseases, is increasing in incidence, and it's unclear why. Is it because it's being recognized more and diagnosed uh, uh, more readily? Is there um, uh, something in the environment? Um, it's unclear why this is happening, but uh, clearly there's an increased focus and recognition of autoimmune blistering disorders and autoimmunity in general, mm -hmm. uh, which are being realized to be a group of diseases that carry some common uh, 
uh, causes and, and mechanistic themes uh, that run across all these uh, conditions. I've learned so much already. And just time for one more question, but what can people do if they think they might have it or if they already know they have it? Well, our Twitter, Twitter handle is um, at Heal Our Skin, um, and the, the disease name is a little difficult to spell, um, but it's pemphigus.org is our uh, disease website. And we have a wonderful organization that really helps a lot of people. We give uh, free peer health coaching that gets people through their doctor visits. And even if it's not, you know, Pemphigus, sometimes we can help people find the right uh, professionals. Gotcha. And that's P-E-M-P-H-I-G-U-S. Correct. All right. Got it right on the first try. Don't always get that right. So, all right, but and that's good to know because if you uh, happen to, uh, if you miss any of that, you can of course watch this later on on our website, wtnh.com, uh, and uh, pull down. You click the on-air tab and pull down to the uh, Good Morning Connecticut section. Dr. Sinha and Rebecca, thank you so much thank for you. coming on, and good health to you. Thank you. May you have great full recovery. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Right. And we will be back in just a moment.